Mike Draper with Esper Safety Services, and we just want to do a little video here uh, explaining to building owners uh, the process. There's a lot of confusion around fall protection anchors and what's required when somebody's using an RDS system uh, over the building. So OSHA has laid out in 1910-27 that uh, both the building owner and the contractor are responsible for the anchors. Now, how is that so? The building owner is responsible for providing the contractor a certification a certification is, uh, you can just think of that as a load test. So usually an engineer is involved, an engineer stamps that report, and there's load testing done to those anchors. Now, if we figured year one there was a load test done, what OSHA also says is that there's an annual inspection in the subsequent years, say two through nine. So in years one, you do the load test, and then years two through nine, you have the annual inspection done. Now it's a dual responsibility because the building owner must provide that before work can begin and also OSHA says that the employer cannot start work until they've received that information from the building owner. So again, just to provide some clarification, if you have anchors on your building, your contractors are going to be looking for two different forms, one being a load test report and then if, that, if they're doing work uh, outside of that first year, they're going to be looking for an annual inspection sheet uh, on that as well. So I hope that helps clarify uh, what the contractor is going to be looking for from building owners. If you need help with that, please feel free to call us at expertsafetyservices.com.